You're right, guys. It's Capcom Tom here, and I'm back for another episode of Road to Recovery. So, um, at the start of the episode, you can see we have forty thousand coins, um, thirty-one wins, one draw, and one loss, which isn't too bad going, to be honest. Although we did have a little bit of a hiccup in the last episode where we did draw one and lose one. So, I was really up for it to uh, try and get back into this and actually get our win streak back on the road. So, that's what the aim was, and. Um, as you can see, we've just logged on and we haven't actually sold anything. Um, we have only got three things in our trade pile. I didn't have time to trade in the last episode. So, unfortunately, these Ainsworth just aren't selling. Now, a lot of you are saying Ainsworth is worth 2k. Yes, Ainsworth is worth 2k in right mid. But we've moved him into a good formation. We didn't move the formation, but we bought him in a good formation. And we've moved him to right wing. So, therefore, he should be worth more. Now... What we do, what I do here is I'm going to go and check how much he's actually worth, how much the other ones are going for in the market, so we can uh, decide what sort of price we should be putting him up for. Now, I would say that Ainsworth is like a player that you probably want in your team for a bronze team. I know obviously Taylor is more in demand, but um, you know um, some people have to budget and they might be willing to get Ainsworth. Some might even prefer Ainsworth, or maybe they just want to try him out. So. Um, obviously we can charge but over the top and you can see that there's actually only like was it three Ainsworth on the market in a right wing in a 4-3-3 so um, you know I they were going for I think the cheapest one was 7,800 so I'm thinking to me I'm thinking right okay overnight if I put this up um, I will be able to that one will sell my one will be left up as the cheapest buy it now and then someone will buy mine for like 9,000 coins. That's why I keep relisting those 9,000 and that's how I make profit. Like continually, there's no need for me to sell them. I have enough coins to keep me going for the while. So there's no need for me to, you know, bin them off for, for real cheap. Anyway, um, this is the team as it stands at the moment. The only two signings we've actually made was in the last episode. We made Nong at striker and Kanu at centre back. And uh, we do make a couple more signings. This was done in the live stream. So, um, you know, um, people were suggesting who I should get. So I listened to their suggestions and actually ended up getting two pretty decent players. Now, <clears throat> uh, we'll first do some trading as per usual. And today I'm doing the mass bid technique, but we're using Fabio Cohen Trow as our example. Um, we found that his lowest buy it now is about 800, 700 coins. Um, so. Obviously, he's non-rare, so his discard is only 300, so we should be able to pick him up for about the 500 coin mark. That's the idea, anyway. So, um, obviously, we uh, if we buy him for 500, we can sell him on for 750, 700, 800 coins, uh, depending on his formation. <clears throat> And uh, make like two or three hundred coin profit. Now that doesn't sound a lot, but when you say that's fifty percent back on what you're actually spending, and if you manage to utilise all forty thousand coins that I've got, then I would actually be able to make twenty thousand coins back minus tax, obviously. But you know, that's the idea. Anyway, you guys on PS3 that are saying it doesn't work on PS3, I think that you're using the same prices because I went away, tried it on my web app, and it does work. It works perfectly fine. It works exactly the same. Just don't use the same prices. Find out the max buy it now or the lowest buy it now for a player and then bid lower bid accordingly to that don't think oh he's bidding on you know Fabio Cohen troll for 500 that's what I should be doing no don't do that that's stupid that won't work anyway we're moving to our first game we're playing a, a bronze team with a gold goalie and this guy really didn't put up all that much of a fight to be honest um, he was quite poor on the ball, although he did try some skill moves, which is quite strange because he seemed like a bit of a newbie, to be honest. But um, you can see here Nong going through and finessing that into the bottom left. Um, Nong scores an absolute hat full today, so uh, get ready for some Nong goals. Um, the second one also goes to Nong. In fact, I'll tell you what, they pretty much will go to Nong. <laughs> um, you can see him he'd make a mistake and uh, slide tackling too early. And we just simply just keep walking, walk past him and uh, slot it into the bottom right. <clears throat> the next goal, again, was by Nong. <laughs> he was... Uh, pretty bad I can you can see here I took it off his defender which you know you should never be letting someone take it off your defender and I just pushed it past his goalkeeper and the goalkeeper took me out now a lot of people are like oh yeah goalkeepers can get sent off my goalkeeper got sent off goalkeepers can't be sent off in fat I promise you they cannot be sent off in fat it, they just can't literally impossible like maybe in the first week of fat being out uh, pe they could get sent off but 
Um, I think they patched it, and now the max they can get is a yellow card. I mean, it seems pointless to give them the yellow card, but I think that's pretty much all they can get. Anyway, you saw Nong um, uh, scoring the penalty, pretty decent penalty off the bar and in. Nong getting another one like a minute later, and he pretty much collapsed. He just stopped trying. I think he might have even put his pad down at some point. So um, you can see here, again, trying to skill us. Uh, we take it off him. We need to show him how it's done. Little shot of feint there. Yeah, roulette past no one, obviously, but you know, it looks good. And uh, Nong finesses that into the bottom left. Um, then, after half time, I think we get our first goal that isn't from Nong. Mokulu there going through. And uh, uh, a lot of people have been saying that I'm pronouncing names wrong. To be honest, I don't really care. I'm not going to be using all of these players for all that long. And. Uh, to be honest, I'm going to be keep calling them. I'm just going to come up with stupid nicknames for them. So uh, we already have um, Dapu. We've got him playing at right wing. So Dapu is going to score a lot of goals for us, um, as you can probably guess. Anyway, we got a goal from Garetz there. And he actually scores another very nice goal from quite far out there, the long ranger. Um, into the bottom left. His goalkeeper just didn't get anywhere near it. You know, he should be getting that, but I think it's the bounce that deceived him. So we end up winning that 9-0, which is an absolute ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous score. Um, but the guy really wasn't very good. And we get a few nice coins for that. Anyway, go off and make our first signing. And uh, one player I was so keen to have in my pro league team was um, Gillette. Now, the reason that I was so in, so eager to get him in the team and he's like one of the first signings I made, even though he's not like the most exceptional player, is because um, I was involved in quite a big prize fix with his inform and I probably made about two, 250k off, um, off selling his inform version when he came out. Um, I could make a video about it, but it was so long ago, it wouldn't really be worth it now. Um, yeah, so I was really eager just to get the normal one, and I might even upgrade him if we have enough coins before the end of this uh, this little series bit on this team um, to the inform. So apparently he's got absolutely ridiculous long shots. Anyway, this guy has um, a 4 one 2 2 looks like a pretty dodgy team, some really weird choices, and then he did that, bringing Benzema on, and uh, obviously that made me rage. I hate it when people bring people on. It's just like deceiving you. And I mean, you know, Benzema is an awesome player as well. So um, you can see there he actually scored with him. But there was no way I was ever going to let this guy win. Um, in the 54th minute, it took quite a while to equalise. But uh, Mukulu doing a nice cross there. And Dapu was there to uh, do his pooey business and uh, score the header. So that was quite a good goal. And uh, this was actually in the 90th minute. Uh, we could have ended up with a draw. But the sweaty bicycle kick was put in by Dapu. Him doing his pooey business again. And uh, I was I was like this on the mic. Yes, come on. I think everyone in the live stream was probably freaking out. Because I was going so crazy over this uh, <laughs> dirty sweaty bicycle kick. Anyway, we win that game 2-1. And it felt like a good victory for us. Since this guy brought on Benzema. I was, I was like this guy needs to lose he needs to lose now that he's done that he has to lose um, so Dupu getting us two goals proving out to be quite a good striker actually Dupu um, he's there for the uh, rebounds and stuff uh, actually getting some good goals himself so gets an 8.10 ra rating and uh, man of the match which is pretty beast I won't lie and uh, you can see that we move into the uh, arena and we go and make another signing now this was suggested by the live stream to me um, to go and get this guy Marek now the reason we got him is because uh, he has beast long shots as well and it seems to be a little bit of a recurring theme I couldn't afford him in um, my formation but you can see um, I was putting him into the team here he does get 8 chemistry which isn't too bad I mean I'd rather spend 1k and get 8 chemistry than spend 4 and get 9 I mean it's not that much of a big deal to me um, obviously he's getting a strong link with one of our centre backs and there is a lot of room for improvement in uh, that team so um, <clears throat> we move into the final game hoping to win this as well and we come up against what is it Crusat and uh, Dumbia and if uh, nothing says like I'm going to rape you in the arse with pace um, that is definitely the uh, definition of it uh, playing Dumbia and Crusat both having over 90 pace but you know um, this guy didn't prove out to be all that good um, he gave us penalty quite early on 
And uh, the reason he wasn't very good was he would all he would do is you pass it to Cruz out of Dumbia, which is so predictable. Like I just ended up marking the two of them and just intercepting wherever he passed them. And then whenever he did get the ball with them, he was actually just you know sprinting. He just literally held the sprint button down and just started sprinting towards the goal. And I just stood there and just waited until he ran into me and took the ball off him. So um, yeah. That was pretty good. Um, Makulu there scoring from a corner. A little bit of a rebound. But a nice finish nonetheless. And uh, you can see there. Miri are right back. Scoring a nice goal. And I'm actually not showing the um, the uh, celebrations. Just because uh, this guy was not playing um, particularly well. Um, I think he had given up pretty much halfway through. You can see there. Um, one of our players uh, trying to do a back heel. And... Uh, that's what I meant about him not not playing. Uh, Depu there just taking it off his player and scoring. And uh, like a couple of minutes later, Goretz did. And I hate it when this happens because it's so boring for me. It literally like it's like oh yeah, you can't you can't really do anything about it. You know, just have to tackle their standing players. So uh, we did end up winning, winning seven nil. So we did get the perfect streak in this episode: three games and three wins, which is pretty beast. It makes our record thirty four one and one and. Um, that's pretty much it. I've decided that we're going to treat ourselves in the next episode by something, um, by something you know, naughty. Not naughty, but like, you know, something that's not going to actually benefit us in any way, not benefit the team. But, you know, um, I'm thinking that we should go get a stadium. Um, so that's the plan for the next episode. Go get a new stadium because I'm sick of playing in this little tiny little arena you know our team is beast we need we need the fans there to support us uh, plus big stadiums give you more morale which is uh, always a bonus and uh, yeah that's pretty much the end of the episode guys uh, I did leave it to run through the uh, credits um, but um, that's because I forgot to press the button I was uh, busy trying to talk to people in the live stream at the same time so guys I hope you've enjoyed this episode sorry it was a bit uh, long um, I think that's pretty much it, so please leave a like if you did enjoy it, uh, leave a subscription if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.